I'm guessing whose birthday today. Happy birthday, Mr. KJC. Happy birthday to you. Wish you all the best, good health, and I just want to say something, just want to read some words, it's, it is the prayer, egg. prayer X. the title is prayer X. I just want to share this with you. Just outside my kitchen window, a robin built her nest under the eaves of our patio. I love watching her tuck grasses into a safe spot and then hunger down to incubate eggs. Each morning, I check her progress. But each morning, there was nothing. Robin eggs take two. Two weeks to hatch. Such impatience is an ill thing. I've always trained against the work of waiting, especially in prayer. My husband and I waited nearly five years to adopt our first child. Decades ago, author Catherine Marshall wrote, Prayers like eggs don't hatch as soon as we lay them. The prophet Habakkuk wrestled with waiting in prayer, frustrated at God's silence with Babylon's brutal mistreatment of the southern kingdom of Judah. Habakkuk commits to stand at my watch and stations myself on the ramparts to look to see what he will say to me. Habakkuk 2 verse 1 God replies that Habakkuk is to wait for the appointed time and directs Habakkuk to write down the revelation so the word can be spread as soon as it's given. What God doesn't mention is that the appointment time, when Babylon falls six decades away, creating a long gap between promise and fulfillment, like eggs, prayers often don't hatch immediately, but rather incubate in God's over, overarching purposes. For our words, for for our world and our lives. Yes, it is really difficult to wait. Like, um, we we planned to marry last March, but it didn't happen because of COVID. But I know God's purpose always the best right and we should wait for that right time so instead of uh, being disappointed so let's look in the uh, uh, other side to the brighter side that maybe it's really not time for us to be to be, to be married so God is um just uh, let's just wait for the right time because everything has the right time. Um, maybe God's plan is the best for us, so let's just wait and see until the COVID ends. And love you. That's it, and at least we know each other that we love each other, and and if the one who loves you right now, you have a big family, and I'm thankful that everyone is happy to meet you and to talk with you always, and waiting to 
be able uh, to see you soon personally and everything has God's perfect time so happy happy birthday and wish you all the good health and always let's be more patient with each other you know okay happy happy birthday here love you Bye. oh greg happy happy birthday more birthdays to come good health stay safe god bless hi greg how are you uh, and i say happy birthday to you uh, enjoy your day and stay safe bye hi greg happy birthday more birthdays to come <laughs> Happy birthday, Greg. You got Happy birthday, Greg. I just want to say happy birthday. We wish you a good health. More birthdays to come. God bless you. Stay safe. Ingat. See you soon. Bye. Happy birthday, Uncle Greg. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Greg. Uh, God bless you and hope to see you uh, soon, okay? Take care and God bless. Bye. Happy birthday again. Happy birthday. From Gragasin family. Bye. Happy birthday, Greg. Enjoy your day. Happy birthday, Sister Greg. I wish you all the best. Hi, Greg. I just want to greet you. Happy birthday in Proverbs 9:11. May your days will be multiplied and your years will be added to your life with good health, prosperity, joy, and happiness. Happy birthday! God bless you more. Be and make sure. Bakit tinatanong mo pa eh? Nakita mo na pala kami. Eh bakit mo siya binigyan ng stick o? Oh. Eh yun lang pala eh. Dinala mo pa yung lunchbox niya. Ano mo ba siya? Sumagot ka! <laughs>